These awards are super important, and uh, not just to celebrate un under celebrated uh, people, because a lot of the uh, previous uh, uh, awardees have been amazing people in all their right, in, independent of uh, being women or not. And I, frankly, was extremely happy to see the change in the name from the Women Awards to the W uh, Awards. I mean, I think we have to think uh, in uh, non-binary terms in our times. And I think this is a very, very positive uh, move on the part of, uh, of these awards. So, of course, the question of, of collaborations in architecture is, uh, for me, has been very, very important uh, theme. Uh, I came to it precisely in the context of uh, so many people, including myself, uh, doing uh, historical research work on all these unacknowledged uh, women uh, in the history of modern architecture, anybody from Eileen Gray to Charlotte Perrian, etc., and, et and oh, Lina Bobardi, etc. But then at a certain point I realized we were not going to go that far this way. This is very important and necessary work, but something else is at stake. Architecture has always been a collaborative uh, practice, more like filmmaking, more like opera, in which many participants uh, are involved, and the um, uh, list of credit is always very uh, long and layered. Uh, at, at the end of the film, even the makeup people, the people that did the catering are acknowledged. In architecture, we have tended always to recognize a single figure. This has excluded not just uh, women, but a lot of men that disappear from the credit mi miraculously, too and also a lot of professionals involved in the practice of architecture. For a long time, the engineer was a neglected figure, the client was a neglected uh, uh, figure, so many uh, landscape architects, uh, all these people that are involved. So I think about collaboration in terms of co-labor uh, situations, and architecture is in many ways one of these uh, uh, practices in which so many actors are involved, and we need to think about this uh, question. The institution of architecture is in, in that way very uh, reactionary, um, emphasizing always the idea of a single figure, the genius uh, architect, to the exclusion of all these other people, not just women. And I think as women, we are in a better position uh, understanding this, uh, uh, this regressive uh, um, attitude of architecture uh, 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 than just claiming we forget women. We forget a lot of people. So Grafton getting the Prisket Prize, I think I'm, I'm super happy about this. I think it's a really positive uh, uh, move on the part of, of the Prisket Prize, who has uh, missed some other opportunities over uh, uh, the years, but this is really uh, fantastic. It's also very interesting that you were ahead of the game, even ahead of the, of the Biennale in recognizing uh, them for the Jen uh, Drew Prize. Sejima was uh, the one that was offered the Prisker Prize. I don't know whether this is correct. And she was the one that said, no, it's Sana, it's me, and also Nishizawa. It's very significant that then the Prisker Prize didn't have a problem uh, with that. I, I also hear uh, that uh, um, it was Jack Erthog initially that was offered the Prisket Prize, and he said, good for him, it's not just me, it's me and Pierre. And so apparently the Prisket Prize didn't have a problem acknowledging uh, Erthog and Demeron. So why the difficulty then in accepting, uh, so when a man says, my partner is also another man, that is, uh, is also part of the practice, they don't have a problem. When a woman says, oh, my male partner is also part of the office, they don't have a problem. But when a man says, my uh, partner is a woman and it's also part of the practice, then they have a problem. So I think the problem is with them. And I'm very, very happy to see that uh, in this case they acknowledge the prize to both. My future research, uh, which started very much with this question of, uh, of collaboration, is my ongoing uh, project and in fact is what I'm teaching uh, right now at Princeton collaborations, uh, the secret life of, uh, of architecture, or the ghost of modern uh, architecture. And in fact, uh, it's been really exciting for me to bring it up into the discussion with the students, with a younger uh, generation of students that are uh, fully participating in the sharing economy and that they uh, offer new insight 
in how we can uh, uh, think about this problem. So it's both about collaboration and it's collaborative work in the context of, uh, of uh, education uh, with my own uh, students in this project that becomes bigger and bigger in, 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 in terms of, of research and finding.